Hey guys, it's been a while. Uh, it's been, what, two, three years since my last confession? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's uh, been quite busy for me. It's had a lot of work, a lot of personal life, a lot of uh, other shenanigans getting in the way of the stuff that I need to do. And um, honestly, I need to, you know, creating videos, uploading them, editing them. It's a lot of time. It's a big responsibility. And... Uh, you may have noticed that some uh, YouTubers uh, out there will have mentioned that it does take a lot of time and it's not something that you go at half-assedly. And I didn't know that going in when I first started doing it and I realized that more and more as time went on as uh, my week slowly dissipated into nothing. I had no personal time, nothing to do for myself. So. Um, yeah, that's why I haven't been doing it, and I respect YouTubers all the more for it, because it is a full-time job, it's not something that you can uh, approach with a half-assed attitude, and I respect their courage for, uh, you know, taking that life-altering decision and, you know, committing all of their time to YouTube, not knowing whether or not it would pan out. Kudos to you guys, uh, utmost respect. Um, yeah, so I just uh, wanted to... Uh, you know follow up see how things are going maybe uh, add some additional videos I had some additional stuff that I wanted to share with you guys and uh, listen, I make no promises this is gonna be like, like a regular video upload or anything but uh, you know maybe on occasion I might start throwing a few videos here and there and uh, we'll see where it goes from there uh, yeah, so, oh, uh, wanted to uh, do an apology uh, ahead of time. Um, I know the sound is a little bit bad. You might be hearing like a high-pitched tone in the background. That is the result of a six to seven-year-old's headset acting up and not much I can do about it right now other than, you know, go out and buy a new headset, which I might do shortly, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to uh, share this uh, these last few things that I've been working on for in Warframe and uh, see where it goes from there. All right, uh, take it away, me. Thank you, me, you filthy sociopath. Um, yeah, so most of the subscribers that I currently have are probably from my days of uh, uh, Left 4 Dead or Killing Floor or other stuff that I used to do, so they might not know Warframe, right? And all some new guys might be showing up and thinking, oh, who's this guy doing this Warframe crap? Uh, anyways, yeah, so Warframe. I'm really liking this. Uh, I've been at it since its beginning, and uh, I'm loving it. It's a co-op, uh, multiplayer sort of thing. <laughs> you get to play a super space ninja in space with superpowers and shit. And uh, yeah, there's uh, a lot of fun mechanics to it. What's great about it is the community, because it's not a very competitive community, and as such, it's not as toxic as most of the competitive uh, games out there. The thing that I wanted to show you this time is uh, the Foundry. So for those of you who play this game know the Foundry. You know this annoying little tool, and uh, one of the main things that you use it for is for crafting consumables, such as the air support charges, or ciphers, or energy restores, health restores. The problem is that it takes an entire minute to craft one of these things and most people are not patient enough for that. They go off and do something else and then come back and end up spending like 15 minutes to craft it. Um, so a lot of the community has been asking for uh, you know, something like uh, times 100 uh, quantities of consumables for crafting so they don't have to you know, stay here and babysit this thing and just keep clicking every minute. Um, I decided to build a script. I don't know if DE allows this, to be honest. Uh, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't allow it, but uh, yeah, use it at your own risk. Uh, you will be uh, reading some of my README files and uh, the disclaimers therein in a bit, but yeah, so this script that I'm going to showcase right now is basically a way of automating this kind of stuff so that you can just set it up, it keeps crafting for you as you walk away and eat a sandwich or, I don't know, trim a hedge or something, whatever it is you guys do. Anyways, uh, so here we go. The first thing before you even proceed with any of my scripts is you need to have a thing that runs the scripts. Uh, I use AutoHotKey. It is a nice little scripting tool which enables you to run some automated front-end tasks such as clicking, left-clicking, right-clicking, double-clicking, all that good stuff. Uh, so you go and go here, I'll have a link for it in the description, and you just go to download, 
you download the installer uh, and once it's installed it might give you like the startup page you need to you can close that you don't need it really uh, you won't be using that so after you've gotten the auto hotkey you go to my github account or my github uh, directory and um, i'll have a link for this in the description as well but uh, the auto crafter script is going to be here you can uh, read up the disclaimer over here um, and you can uh, read instructions on how to use it over here uh, if the video is not enough for you but yeah but before we even go into that so what you're gonna do is go over here and I insist that you do this because you have to read this um, this is the disclaimer I basically dust my hands off of any responsibility that deals with this stuff uh, and any resulting damages because uh, first of all the script itself uh, the one that I'm going to be showing you uh, if you f around with it too much you could accidentally speed up production of some consumables and that'll waste some plat I'm not gonna compensate you for that like it's you do that that's your problem uh, I made it so that uh, it doesn't uh, fail on a regular basis but I'm not gonna make it dummy proof so you know uh, use it at your own discretion the other disclaimer is I have no idea whether or not DE condones this kind of thing uh, they have not made any official statements uh, disclaiming any scripting uh, approaches and uh, as far as I can tell the only thing that they don't want you to do is create scripts that all that you use for uh, you know in game just killing stuff on a mass and walking away from the game itself right so those are a no-no from what i understand but even then that's kind of vague uh when it comes to these kinds of scripts where you interact with the foundry on a you know afk sort of uh approach i don't know maybe who knows anyways uh if they do catch you and they slap your wrist and say no 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 we're gonna ban you uh that's not my problem that's your problem you deal with it Anyways, moving on, uh, you will go over here, you will go and click on this autocrafter.ahk. This is the script, there it is, that's it, yeah. All right. yeah, go to the raw button, you click on raw and it'll show you the actual uh, everything in its own little page that you can hit control A, control C, and now you can paste it because it's on your clipboard. Now, if you go to your desktop, uh, I'm going to delete this because of reasons. Uh, and you go to new, and if you've installed Auto Hotkey already, if you go over here, you will see that you can actually start a new Auto Hotkey script. But uh, I noticed that in Windows 10, a friend of mine tried to do this and it didn't work for him. So what I'm going to have you do is go to start and search up Notepad. Now I have Notepad++, which is a nice little tool, but most of you are going to have just a regular Notepad. And so just open that up, I'll show you. Uh, just control V it. There you have it, it's all here, but it's not saved yet, so you have to save it. Uh, once you've saved it, uh, oh, well, as you save it, uh, switch from text documents to all files. So it doesn't have the extension.txt, it has a blank extension. And now what you can do is you can name it whatever you want. Notice that I ended this uh, file with .ahk, that is the extension for auto hotkey. You need this in order for the script to be recognized, uh, basically mapped to that application. So make sure you do this, this is important, okay? Now you've saved it. Oh, um, also, I've wrote a couple of comments. You see these semicolons before the, all of this uh, good stuff? Yeah, so if you're gonna be handing this off uh, to a friend of yours or something and instructing them on how to do this, Make sure that they read this, right? Because this deals with the disclaimer and all of the stuff. Uh, yeah, I claim I will be—I will not be held responsible for any damages. That's, uh, I'm just going to say that. I'm, I'm going to keep repeating it throughout this video. You will not do it how many times I repeat it. Anyways, uh, you can close this. You don't need this anymore. But what you will need is actually, because I saved it to the desktop, it's over here, but uh, where go wherever it is you saved it and just double click it. Now, you will have a little window pop up here. Uh, this window is uh, the interface. So to explain how this works, you go to the Warframe, right? And you have the initial view, right? So you have air support charges here, ciphers, or you might have a different, which is why I didn't make it static so that it clicks specific ones. You get to choose what you want to craft. So say you want air support charges, but you also want energy restores. 
and at the same time you also want the health restores and you don't want ammo because you are a bullet fearing infidel or you don't want energy because oh wait you do want energy i already said that you don't want ciphers because you're a hacking badass and you don't want shield restores because screw them anyway so you you select these three and they correspond to the spots on the screen that you have uh, as per how many times you can set a specific quantity that you want to build, right? So it'll, if you do this, it'll build nine times. If you do this, it'll build 42 times. Or you can just set it to run infinite. So it just infinitely loops until you run out of resources for each one of these. Now, uh, after that, you just go back into the game and all you hit is the tilde key. That's the key above tab to the left of the one. And here's what happens. By the way, my hand is off the mouse. This is what happens. I am hitting it now. You'll see, it will jump from one thing to another as you defined in the little interface on the top left in the user interface, and it will uh, start each one. Now, you will see what happens once the first uh, order has been completed, the air support charges, and once it has, uh, you will see what happens. I'm going to fast forward this so for your sake. And slowing down. So uh, the first thing is going to finish up its build. And you will see that the cursor will automatically go back up to air support charges, claim it, and then start a new order. And then it will go to the next one because that one's ready for claiming as well. And it'll do the same. And then the same, yada, yada, yada. So the one thing that you should be aware of is that you cannot run this if your game is in full screen. For some reason, it just messes up and I have no idea why. I'm still working on figuring out why and I'll fix it in due time, maybe, who knows. But in the meantime, if you want this script to work for you, you have to go to Options, you have to go to the Display tab, you have to make sure you're either borderless full screen or windowed. If you're full screen, that won't work, just either one of those. Uh, no, I don't want to say. But, yeah. Now, you're wondering, what about resolutions? What if my resolution is not 1080p? What if my resolution is smaller or higher? Well, um, I made the script in such a way which it will auto-adjust itself to the size of the window, so it should work with any resolution. The one thing I recommend you do is you make sure that your desktop resolution and your in-game resolution is identical. <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to cut the recording because uh, I kept the script running and the mouse moved into a specific part of the screen and I spun around. Uh, yeah, so on that note, you can actually toggle the script off by using the same tilde key. Right? As the script is running, don't mess around with the mouse, right? Because if you move the mouse and it accidentally presses something it's not supposed to, uh, you might end up accidentally rushing the order that you were building and you will waste some plat, so you have been warned. Uh, if you need to stop it, press tilde again, make sure that it's not doing anything before you take control over it again. Yeah, that's all I wanted to tell you. You guys have a great night, have a great day wherever you may be, and I will see you later. Keep an eye out for more of my videos. Bye!